Hi there, Dave Rawlings here with the London Longsword Academy. And I have a box. It's an important box. What could be inside the box? Oh, it's Progon bits. Either that or it's the Action Man Deserters kit that I've always been promised. So, let's have a look. It's like all your Darth Vader Iron Man dreams come true. So, let's have a look. You don't get a very good impression of quite how insanely sturdy these feel. Um, they are quite heavy and pretty damn solid. So, fit-wise, they come with a glove already in them. I love that. One of my pet hates in gloves is when you get a glove that doesn't have a gauntlet or a hand protector that doesn't have the glove inside. This is lovely. Good start. Excellent. Um, now I understand they're only doing one size at the moment and theoretically these aren't actually the right size for me. But let's just have a little twiddle. And that's pretty good actually. You can see why they want to be so specific in the size. There's a tiny bit in the little finger, but that's still much better than any finger gauntlet that I had. That's very cool. It's a little bit overwhelming quite how many little component pieces there are in these. They're absolutely fascinating. Real, real works of engineering. Absolutely fantastic to look at. So. Okay. I'm doing this live so you can see very genuinely any issues I have putting them on. Pretty comfortable though. And pretty easy to put on once you put the other plug on as well, so that's good. So I've got a few swords here as well that I wanted to look through. So first of all, we have a cavet and sabre. Now you can see that the knuckle here does stick out a little bit to the side. But, it's not too bad. It could do with a little bit more freedom. Obviously, these big knuckle plates are impeding going into the handguard a little bit. You can certainly feel these in the tips of the fingers. I think it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to that, but they're very good. On the black fencer here, that's absolutely fine. That's lovely, good, yep. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to how much freedom you can put in here. I'm not entirely um, comfortable giving it all the freedom that I could possibly give. And I think that's a lack of familiarity with the glove rather than being any problem with it. That's very, very nice. Very nice. Good, comfortable, nice feeling of dexterity. Much more dexterity than I'm used to in a glove, to be honest. Very, very comfortable. Very good. Okay, and again, do be aware, I'm talking about gloves that aren't actually technically the right size for me. They are planning on doing these in different sizes. So, so far, all things considered, that's feeling pretty magnificent. Rapier, if this works, I'm going to be amazed. So, standard grip. Yeah, having the standard grip, again, the size of the knuckle plate is rotating my hand within the guard. So, not optimum for that. I can hold it, but I'm basically just holding it with the tip of my finger, so it's not a particularly fantastic feel, but it's still still usable, not optimum, but then again, this is more optimized towards a long sword, so that's not really a problem. Um, just gonna try it with the T-bow grip. Okay, T-bow grip and this sword, not gonna happen. Long sword, which obviously these are primarily designed for. Um, I'm just going to make lightsaber noises and helicopter noises. This is phenomenal. This is lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, again, I think any issues in the grip are down to that lack of familiarity in it. It feels really nice. Grip changing is going to be nice and light. Yep. Yeah, that's really good.
excuse me, just hitting myself in the hand, but that feels remarkably safe. And no marking from it. Very, 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 very good. Then, Messer. I think Oscar's done a piece on this as well. And again, I think there's going to be that same issue of getting used to the grip. I might suggest that maybe they want to have some leather that's not so smooth on these gloves because I think that's affecting how much you want to change the grip on a single handed because it feels quite soft and smooth in the hand where the leather's very, very smooth. It feels like it wants to move a little bit. Um, but again, absolutely, absolutely lovely. Uh, yep, fantastic. Then, parry and dagger here. Let's try. Okay, let's try Fedden. Pretty good. And Covetans have got the sort of like the weird sail and ring and that's still quite comfortable. It's bringing the point forwards a little bit, but that's not, not a problem too much. And on a conventional one where I can put my thumb here, as you can see, there's plenty of room in that and that's not hindering at all. So that is quite wonderful. Um, Bet and side sword. Ooh. Now that. That is really good. If you want a side sword glove and it matches up with a Gavetan sizing here, that's very, 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 very good indeed. Very comfortable. Very important for me, sword and buckler. So immediately I can feel that here, the back plate is impeding the rotation of the buckler towards the back of the hand. So that's a little bit of a shame, but as far as the arming sword is concerned, again with that little feeling of movement in there a little bit to be aware of, it does force the sword into a slightly conf not confined grip, but it's kind of dictating which way I hold it a little bit. It's bringing the cross guard towards my fingertip rather than allowing me to rotate anywhere here. But that said, that is still the most comfortable heavy duty glove that I have ever fucking worn and it's the most dexterous it's ever felt on the, on the sword. Again, I think there's that same issue with the smoothness, and I think, as with most gloves, there's a little bit of getting used to being tactile in them and having the sensitivity. You always feel you need to grip things a little bit too tightly. So here, these are phenomenal. These are really good. You need to be aware in items where that have a Restricted size opening, obviously, that is affecting how you're gripping things. Long sword, Messer. Messer, I was more aware of the change of grip. Um, side sword, absolutely perfect. Something where it can lock in. It's really, really holding it in fantastically. Arming sword, good. Again, maybe the same issues that we've got with the Messer. Long sword, perfection. Um, these are fantastic. Like I say, you notice me standing there, hitting myself in the fingers. I have not felt as safe as with another pair of gloves as I have with these. Um, I will stab myself in between the fingers at some point, but these seem fantastic. The Pro Gaunt has got a good sturdy price tag on it, but I would say if you want to keep your fingers safe, worth every fucking penny. Guys, thank you very much for sending these over. They are truly, truly fantastic. Thank you very much.